Hey guys, my name is Kat, and this is my first YouTube video. I have been drawing for a really long time, and I thought it was a good idea to start a YouTube channel where I post my art and stuff. So, in this video, I drew a fox. I just drew, like, a little fox for fall because I thought it would be fun. Um, he is wearing a sweater because I love drawing animals wearing sweaters. Um, so yeah, I'll just talk about my process drawing him. I'll talk about some of my ideas for the channel. It's going to be a super chill video. So yeah, let's just get started with that. Um, the first thing I did was start with a sketch like I always do. I'm drawing him in Procreate, which is, I mean, you've probably heard of it if you've been on the YouTube art scene XD. I don't know why I just said XD, but I, I mean, I might edit that out, but I'm probably going to leave it in. Anyway, um, yeah, so I started with a sketch. Uh, if you, if you're on Procreate, I mean, <laughs> if you've been on YouTube, you've probably heard of Procreate. Um, it's a really fun drawing program for the iPad and I'm using my Apple Pencil to draw him. So yeah, so I just started with a sketch, which I said like a hundred times, but He's a fox. He's holding a little coffee cup, which I thought was cute because I just I just love I just love drawing animals doing human things. Not a furry, maybe a bit of a furry. I don't know why I just told you that I'm a bit of a furry. Like this is the first time I'm meeting you and I told you that. I might edit that out. Probably going to leave it in. Anyway, so I decided that his name, well, me and my boyfriend decided that his name is Gus because that's a cute name for a fox. I wanted something like kind of like short and snappy. So I went with Gus and I wrote Gus on his little coffee cup, which I thought was cool. So, you know, uh, yeah, I drew an acorn on the side because I decided to do this like little wreath thing, you know, where like, um, you know, he's just framed by like fall leaves and stuff, which I thought was cute, but I ended up drawing an acorn there, and I was going to draw another acorn, but I ended up with just one. So if I was going to do anything, if I was going to go back and like change anything about this drawing, I might change the fact that there's only one acorn. But you know, what can you do? Um, so yeah, here's me drawing Gus. Um, if you hear any background noises, I'm in my dorm room, like, like doors closing and stuff. Um, and yeah, so anyway... The kind of videos I want to upload to this channel are mostly going to be art videos, um, but I also have a pet hedgehog who I'd like to show you guys. Um, so yeah, her name is Wendy. She's the love of my life. And um, yeah, I'll be showing probably videos of her. Maybe I'll be drawing her. I'll probably be drawing her um, in a sweater holding a coffee cup. Maybe, maybe something different. Anyway, now I'm starting to line the drawing. Um, I used a brown color for the fox's fur, uh, which I decided to use instead of black because I thought it made the piece more atmospheric and fall-like. Um, and I used uh, darker shades of all of the colors that I colored him in with uh, for the line art, which I thought looked pretty nice. I also did these, like weird little like sketchy fur lines which I thought was cute so that was fun um yeah so now I'm going in with my red color to do his scarf which I had so much trouble deciding if I wanted his star scarf to be striped or plaid and I think I ultimately went with plaid but it was a really hard decision because I thought those I thought those stripes would be cool but you know, that didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, so. But more on that later. Now I'm going in for the green sweater, which I thought came out pretty nice. Um, I did more of the little sketch lines type things, which I thought was cool. Um, yeah, so I think now I decided that I wanted to color in, like, his fur and his sweater before I decided what color I wanted his pants to be, because I wanted to see what it looked like together. I think, yeah, for the pants, I went with, like, a desaturated brown color, which looked kind of nice. 
Yeah, so that's me deciding what color I wanted for the pants. And I'm lining in the pants, but I accidentally put the pants uh, line art on the wrong layer. So that caused me a lot of trouble <laughs> going forward with the drawing. But that's fine. We all make mistakes, just like Hannah Montana said. And so, you know, for Gus's little coffee cup, I decided to put a little heart on there like he has some kind of love interest slash barista type person working at the coffee place who put a heart on his cup, which, you know, that's just kind of cute. I don't know. I like to kind of have like a story behind my art sometimes, not always. Yeah, so I think, oh, I think that green looks really good. I really like the color of that green. Uh, and then I went in with like a kind of a desaturated like uh, red color, but uh, I kind of decided later on that I didn't like it. It was a little bit too desaturated for me. So later on I went in with like like a darker red color for, for the scarf. Oh yeah, so I think here is where I just have so much trouble deciding what I want the scarf to look like. Like I decided I wanted to go with like like a striped kind of look but like I mean looking back on it now it doesn't look that bad but like I don't know I past me decided that it wasn't good so I you know then I tried to make the whole scarf that white color but then I was like oh that looks like skin so I didn't I didn't like that so then I decided I'd you know try that like that nice darker red and I I really liked that so I kept that um and yeah, I, I definitely like that better anyway, uh, looking back on it. So then I was like, okay, so I want to make this scarf striped. So I went in with yellow, and I thought the yellow clashed with the yellow of his fur. So I decided to get rid of that. So it also kind of looked like he was from Gryffindor, which I thought was cool, but you know, the yellow clashed. Anyway, after that, I decided I would just give up on the stripes idea and make his scarf plaid which is what I, you know, decided on eventually. I was like, you know, I kind of like the, the, the plaid. So I don't know. I don't, I'm not that great at drawing plaid, but I think it kind of turned out looking cool. Also, me and my boyfriend were looking at this and we were like, hey, he looks kind of like Snufkin from the Moomins, which I am really happy about because everyone loves Snufkin. I love Snufkin. Snufkin's awesome. So, you know, he's, he's great. You know, that's, I love my fox now even more. Um, so yeah, now <laughs> this is kind of a problem. Like the layer that I drew the pants on was the wrong layer. So I had trouble coloring in the, uh, the feet underneath the pants because it was the wrong layer. Um, anyway, there's, uh, what, what was I saying? I, oh, his eyes. I'm, I'm doing his eyes now. I kind of, I really like the way the eyes turned out. That's a nice blue color. Uh, now I'm doing his ears. His ears was his ears were fun to draw. I thought about maybe making some more darker, not darker, but like thicker white lines on his scarf. But you know, I decided not to. Then I was like, hey, what if I do kind of a checkerboard pattern? I decided not to do that. But then I was like, okay, here's a darker, like almost blackish color, and I, I liked that. So I. I think I kept that. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I definitely kept that. Um, and that I think that looks good. I flipped the canvas to see what it looked like. It looked fine. Then I decided to give him hair again because his face was looking a little bit, I don't know, just like weird. So I added hair and I liked the way that looked. Uh, I had trouble kind of fitting it in, but eventually it worked. Um... If I could change anything about this drawing, I think I would change the color I used to outline his fur. I think it's a little too desaturated. Um, but, you know, I, I kind of like him. I think he's good. I, I like the way he turned out. Uh, now I'm lining his pants. Not lining. I'm coloring his pants in. Um, yeah, I like the color that... I, I like the color they they turned out as. What is the grammar for that statement? I have no idea. But, you know, anyway, I was cleaning things up a little bit. And then, oh, what am I doing here? Oh, oh, I had trouble deciding what color I wanted his nose to be. Um, yeah, I thought that was too dark. Oh, actually, maybe, maybe that's what I eventually went with. I don't know. Now I'm coloring in his cup. Um, 
I made it kind of like a yellow color and then I kind of brightened it up a little bit. I like that. Um, yeah, what else? What else? Okay, so I, <laughs> I'm like notorious for being really disorganized with my layers. Like I have like a thousand layers in this drawing and I had no idea what I was doing. I was looking for the layer where I put the little black, not black, the gray spot, but like I eventually found it. But yeah, now I'm lining the leaves and I decided I'd make them kind of like uh, multicolored, you know, red and yellow and orange. And I think that turned out pretty good. I, I think my favorite part of this drawing is the leaves. I think the leaves are good. Um, yeah, I'm blessed by the leaves. And then I went in with a green for the other leaves in this drawing because I was like, oh, I'll do like, you know, a... A, a mix between the green and the and the more fall toned leaves and I really like how that turned out um because I did like you know I, I made the green leaves kind of fading into yellow and I really like that um that that was just just perfect I, I like that chef's kiss and then <laughs> I went in with like kind of a yellowish greenish color for like the uh vines and stuff which came out cool and yeah, so I'm just, I'm really happy with how the leaves look in this drawing. And then there's that one acorn. I, I had another acorn at one point, but I got rid of it. I don't remember why. Um, so now I only have one acorn, so it looks kind of weird, but who cares? And then the pumpkins, I did the pumpkins. I like how the pumpkins turned out. They were fun to do. Um, especially the yellow pumpkin. The yellow pumpkin was fun. And then the yellow pumpkin has this cool like little vine coming out. I like that vine. I'm very happy with the way the pumpkins turned out. Oh yeah, and then like <laughs> I had trouble with uh just just the different layers. The layers threw me off. I have so much trouble with layers. Oh yeah, so now you can see like the how I did the yellow on the leaves. I really like how that turned out. Um so yeah, anyway, I guess I could just talk about like yeah, so I, I already said that I want to upload videos like this in the future. I might upload, like, traditional art, like, watercolor stuff, um, you know, ink stuff. I have some India inks, and they're really nice. And so I might, you know, upload some videos of myself drawing with those because they're really fun to draw with. I have, like, a black India ink. I have a yellow India ink. I really like how those colors look together. Um, so what else? Yeah, so I'm just going, I'm, I'm coloring in the leaves. This was kind of tedious when I was doing it, but I think they turned out really nice. Um, yeah, I definitely like the, the little garland of leaves and stuff. Um, just overall, I, I do really like this drawing. I think it turned out good. Like, I'm, I'm glad that uh, this is going to be the first drawing I upload to my channel. Um, because I think it, it has, oh, I just, I like the fall color palette. Oh, yeah. And uh, I messed up the layers again. So <laughs> I did kind of a cheaty thing. And I, like, did half the leaf in one layer and half the leaf in the other layer, which was really stupid. But, you know, it worked. So, you know, what can you do? Oh, I really like that, that, uh, I like the way that leaf turned, not that leaf, but the one before it. The, the big oak leaf. I like how that turned out with like the uh, the yellow and the orange um oh that's a cute leaf too I'm just I'm just like <laughs> simping over my leaves is simping a word can you yeah yeah I think it is I the word simp is kind of dumb I don't know why I'm talking about the word simp right now but you know whatever I like the way the leaves turned out and then uh, yeah, so here's the yellow pumpkin that I like. Um, I like the way that I added the highlights on it. I think that turned out cool. Um, and then I decided that the shading was too dark for, like, the color of the lines at the bottom. So I just kind of, like, blended that in with, like, a kind of a darker brown color. Yeah, and then I, I did the other pumpkin, which was fun, too. Yeah, I, I'm happy with this drawing. I'm very happy with this drawing, and I'm not usually this happy with my drawings. I I definitely like the way the shading looks on that pumpkin. Um, but anyway, 
uh, yeah, if there's anything I could change about this drawing, it would be the fact that A, I only have one acorn in it <laughs> for some reason. It's because I just kind of spaced out and only did one acorn. And then B, um, the line art color for the fox's fur is a little too desaturated for me. And also, ah, that, God, I don't like that acorn. That acorn, I don't like the way I colored it. I think it's kind of bad. But, you know, what can you do? Um, but yeah, I think the fox looks good. Um, I have way too many layers in this drawing. Oh my God. Yeah, so then I did like um, my shading, which I chose like a purple color and I lowered the opacity on it. Um, and just did that where I wanted the shadows to be. Um, and I definitely, I adjusted the, uh, the purple color a lot. Because I didn't like the way it looked with the green, obviously. It looks kind of icky. Um, but yeah, yeah, right here I'm adjusting the color of the shadows. And then I picked, like, a more pink color. And I like that. Oh, and then I, I think I changed it to, like, a blue color. Oh, yeah. And then I just tried to figure out, like how I wanted that, but, uh, I don't know if I even, it's kind of like a purpley blue, I don't know how I feel about it, like, it looks good on his fur, but it doesn't look as good on his clothes, so that's something else I might, might change if I ever go back and redraw this, so that I, I just don't really know if I like the purple color, I was also, like, outside when I drew this, so I didn't, get a very good view of my screen because the sun was shining on it. I probably should have just moved where I was sitting, but you know, I was lazy. So I paid the price for it, but you know, I think it's fine. You know, if I went back and did this, I might even do soft shading for his, for the fox himself, because I did soft shading for the, uh, for the leaves and the pumpkins and stuff, and I don't know, I guess, I guess the purple shading looks okay, I'm really not a big fan of it though, I, I feel like I should have done a more pink shading, but I don't know, I guess it's okay, um, yeah, it's almost done, now I'm, I'm doing a background color, I wanted to do a little shadow underneath the fox, but then I was, having trouble with what color I wanted the shadow to be. I had this orange color for a while, then I decided I didn't like the orange. So I did a more brownish, reddish color. Uh, let's see, what what did I end up with? Oh yeah, I, can't, I think I ended up with that. Um, it's like a more like reddish, brownish, yellowish color. Yeah, I kind of like that. I like that. All right, so that is the end of my video. Here's the finished illustration. I definitely like how he turned out. Um, yeah, so leave a like if you liked this video. Subscribe if you wanna see more stuff. Um, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching my video and have a wonderful day.